Long before telescopes or space probes, ancient Greek philosophers were already looking at the sky with curiosity. For them, Earth was not the center of everything, and perhaps not even the only home of life. Look up at the night sky. Among the billions of stars, how many harbor life? This question has been with us for millennia. But do you know who was the first to imagine this? The search for extraterrestrial life didn't begin with spacecraft or telescopes. It began with philosophy. Since ancient times, thinkers have wondered whether Earth is unique or just one among many. The first known record of someone suggesting that there could be life beyond Earth comes from Anaxagoras, a Greek philosopher from the 5th century BC. He believed that the sun was a glowing rock and that the moon had mountains, and perhaps life. But it was Democritus, a little later, who really dared. He said that there were infinite worlds, some with life, others without, some even with beings similar to us. During the Middle Ages, the idea of other worlds was stifled by the theocentric vision. But in the Renaissance, with names like Giordano Bruno, the theory returned with force. Bruno believed that the universe was infinite and that all the stars were suns with planets, some with life. He was persecuted for his ideas and burned at the stake in 1600. With Galileo's telescope, we began to see that other worlds were real. Centuries later, we discovered exoplanets, planets outside our solar system. Today, with missions like Kepler and James Webb, we know there are billions of Earth-like worlds. Science is now searching for signatures of life in distant atmospheres. We haven't found life out there yet, but we're closer than ever. Astrobiology is a growing science, searching for microorganisms on Mars, icy moons of Jupiter, and signs of civilizations in distant galaxies. The question is no longer whether there is life out there, but when we will find it. From ancient Greece to modern observatories, humanity has never stopped imagining. The search for life beyond Earth is really a search for ourselves. Because if we are not alone, what does that say about who we are? From the first philosophers to today's scientists, our search for life out there is also a search for ourselves. We have created cities, explored oceans, split the atom and put men on the moon. We have invented satellites, computers, artificial intelligence, and yet we still don't have an answer. Will we be alone in the universe? Or is life out there waiting for the right moment to be discovered? Despite all our progress, this question, perhaps the most profound of all, remains open. And perhaps that is what makes us human, the desire to discover what lies beyond. If you enjoyed this journey through time and the cosmos, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell. And comment below. Do you think we are alone? See you in the next video.